Listen, the food at Bush Gardens is great too, but I hear there's another great spot Bethany's checking out today. Look at you with the transition. Did you like the transition? Y'all would be good. terrible workers. I just <laughs> terrible. I would not want to be in control of any of that. <laughs> Keep that over there. All right, let's move on to this. One Virginia Beach bakery made a name for itself in 1988, and in today's Friday flavor, you'll see how it's bigger than its flavors. Step with me inside of Angie's Bakery. We make fresh bread every day. Angie's Bakery is needed into Virginia Beach's history. This was one of the first places that started Pandasol. Pandasol, a bread roll recipe that started in the Philippines. Owner Kenneth Garcia Olias says providing for the Filipino community is important. The fact that it's giving people a taste of home and a, a feel of comfort again, you know. He hopes not only to give some a sense of home, but bring others into his. I just thought that, well, the best way to teach someone's culture is through coffee and bread. People come here for the pandasol, of course. I make two variations of that, the original recipe and I make a ube flavored pandasol, which is purple. Ube. A popular and common flavor in the Filipino community. He's incorporating it into more than just the food. Ube latte came about because it was inspired from the recipe of my ube pandasol. If you're not in the mood for that, the options continue. We have what we call ensamada. It's a Filipino brioche style of dough, very fluffy. We coat it with butter and sugar and I bake that fresh every morning. Yum. My mom's recipe of popia. Popia is like a small biscuit-shaped pastry. It's filled with flavors. Each item a bite of sweet or savory comfort. But for Ken, the comfort goes beyond the menu. There's a grandfather that would come in and get pandasol and bring it to their grandkids. And as the years come by, I notice it was that grandfather's son coming here with their kid. And now they're bringing that pandasol to their grandfather. Maybe as I get older here, I'll see that son grow up and do the same thing. It's just a tradition that just keeps going, you know, and I, I want it to stay in the minds of people my age that this is part of your family. Family that he hopes you can be a part of too. I'm serving up a new Friday flavor every week. If you want me to check out a spot, reach out on social media. I gotta be honest, um, I had some pandasol. I had about 12 rolls. Oh. And I didn't bring any of them in. Oh. I was gonna say, how many did you 